Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. I am Sean Anderson, the most valuable podcast. Alongside me is Brandon Swatty Swatson. And today we are previewing the Pittsburgh Steelers versus the Philadelphia Eagles. Pittsburgh fans, don't worry, I'm not giving your preview. And you shut me up last week. I said you were overrated and you beat the Bengals, so congrats to that. I don't think you're the best team in the AFC, but I'm also a Patriots fan. Ricky is not here. Brand, <laughs> give us a preview. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, Sean? I don't think you could be more right. Ricky's not here. That's absolutely spot on. And I, I, I love, I love when people just tell the truth, and that's so true. So, folks, I'm completely opposite of Sean. I am high on the Pittsburgh Steelers. People have them as a favorite to go and win the Super Bowl. I'm not jumping on the bandwagon yet for that, but I can totally see it. This Pittsburgh Steelers team is very, very good. And why are they so good? Because they can put in a guy with the age of D'Angelo Williams goes out there, and you wouldn't know if it was D'Angelo Williams or Le'Veon Bell. I think that that's awesome. This running game for Pittsburgh is huge. This passing game for Pittsburgh is huge. huge. Who would have thought that Sammy Coates was going to end up being a big playmaker? He's only caught a couple of passes as a Steeler, but they've been for some big plays. The Pittsburgh Steelers, they continue on that road, they're going to be just fine. However, I think they will get a little test this week from the Philadelphia Eagles. Carson Wentz saw him in person last week when he whooped up on the Chicago Bears, and he looked good. He took some big hits. He's a man. He gets right back up and goes back to work. This guy, he has plenty of time. The offensive line for the Eagles, pretty good. Then again, the defensive line for the Bears doesn't exist. But I think that... Carson Wentz is going to be the X factor for the Philadelphia Eagles and how well can he play and how much time is he going to need? I think he's going to be the X factor along with his every single one of his receivers. Can they catch the football? They had three big drops in that game on Monday night that could have made it a big er blowout against the Chicago Bears. So for the Eagles, it's Carson Wentz and those wide receivers. For the Pittsburgh Steelers, it's just keep on this road that you are going on right now. It's been a really good start for the Pittsburgh Steelers, especially in that game against the Cincinnati Bengals. The game was close at times, but the way that the Pittsburgh Steelers play, they made it seem like it really wasn't that close at all. The defense for them is good. The offense is phenomenal. Clicking for sure. Big Ben, this guy is so good. He's so consistent, and he's just a man. He's just an absolute man, so it's going to be the Pittsburgh Steelers in this one, 31-17. to Thanks, Ricky. If you like Brandon's prediction, tell us in the comments down below. Also, don't forget to check out our description where you'll find Ricky's Twitter and my Twitter. You'll even find patreon.com slash podcast. And if you help us out there, maybe I'll actually call Brandon the right name, and you'll also ha- help make happen hashtag bubble wrap Fridays. Well, we're trying to get that going. We're trying to see if that's going uh, to you know, take off here at MVP. But anyways, that's going to wrap up the video for Brandon Swanson. I am Sean Anderson. We'll see you in the next video. And maybe they'll give us enough money for you to be able to take some pills to straighten you out. <laughs> Shaking.